Ballet Arkansas is back with another performance that's sure to please the entire family. We're here with Catherine and Matt to talk about Wonderland, Alice's epic adventures. Thank you both for joining us today. Thanks for having us. So this is really exciting, uh, I know, because this is not only the first opening of the season in terms of performances, but this is also something that's good, like we said before, for really the entire family. Yes, this is the kickoff to the main stage performance season for Ballet Arkansas's 45th anniversary, and it is really, it is the perfect way for us to engage with the public mm -hmm. um, for all ages. It is a world premiere multimedia production wow. of Wonderland Alice's Epic Adventures and really our characters take central stage. So the characters that you know and love, the Mad Hatter, Alice of course, um, and we go through this really fantastical um, story and getting to to really just be a child and enjoy mm. uh, the, the storyline but it is in partnership with Cranford Co uh, so multimedia some AI generated backdrops of the beautiful charts theater so it's a really unique production and, and one that we know everyone will really love when they come out to see it and of course you mentioned the Mad Hatter and Alice but we got to talk about the rabbit which is of course Matt over here <laughs> uh, Matt tell us how have you been preparing for this and how is this performance different than maybe other performances you've done Yes, well, in terms of dancing, it's actually one of the harder roles I think I've ever done because wow. the White Rabbit, you know, he's running around, he's always late. So I'm on stage running around, dancing around, and it's very exhausting, but in the best kind of way. But also having to intermix being goofy and silly because it still is, you know, a whimsical, you know, child story. So we have to go out there, we have to be goofy and silly while also doing the craziest dance, you know, steps you've ever seen. So it's been very tricky, but very rewarding. Yeah, a, a challenging kind of combination mm -hmm. of things. And especially like with, you said, the multimedia backdrop as well, I'm sure makes for a very whimsical, mm -hmm. enchanted, awesome production. Um, and I know to go along with that whimsy, there are some other events that are coming up uh, together with the performances that yes. the whole family can take part in. Yes, we have a Down the Rabbit Hole Tea mm -hmm. happening on Saturday the 14th from 12 to 1 o'clock. And this is the perfect opportunity to get to meet the characters and interact with them, not when they're on the stage, get to also see a little bit of performance, have really awesome treats um, and sweets, uh, get to hear the storyline. So that's a great opportunity if um, people are available on Saturday uh, to join us for the tea and certainly you know also come to see the full performance because they'll just get a little preview of what uh, some of the action that Mike uh, Matt is talking about um, <laughs> all the intricate choreography mm -hmm. uh, so perfect so then if people want to see this if they're like I have to go and bring my family to this when and where can they do so so performances kick off on Thursday evening. We have performances Thursday through Sunday. So there are five public performance opportunities. Wow. Um, so lots of opportunities, uh, both matinee and evening shows. It's happening at the UA Pulaski Technical College's Center for Humanities and Arts, which is in North Little Rock, the mm -hmm. Charts Theater. We've had many performances there. It's a beautiful technolo technological theater. Um, but tickets are on sale um, and available online at balletarkansas.org. And we would love for people to come out and, and see Ballet Arkansas in action at the start of our season. Perfect. Well, thank you both for coming in and teasing this production. We're so excited uh, to see it and, of course, to see the beginning of this wonderful season that's coming up. Thank you both for coming on.